Hello, it's me, your friendly neighborhood little tortilla, and welcome back to Destiny 2 Beyond Light. So, last we left off, we had to go chase down some of Aramis's, Aramis's, uh, things, um, and we had to, uh, not things, but we had to go fight her, uh, her big bades, her, uh, big boys, and, um, we had to go figure out, um... Or go fight Phylax. I'm a little all over the place right now. Um, so we killed her, and uh, here we are. Now I have no idea what to do next. Aha! Maybe I should go talk to the stranger. That would make the most sense. Um, and little and good old Stasis Powers decided to give us a little visit. You know, they just showed up and they were like, Hey, so we're going to help you uh, defeat this thing. Oh, there's a whole southern part of the map. I didn't even know it was there. So yeah. Now we're gonna go talk to the stranger. Maybe get more spoopy dark powers. Hello! You just appear out of nowhere. God, she's cool. Do you- Drifter. Drifter. Be real with me. Do you think she's cool? Do you think she's cool? What if I talk to you? What are you gonna tell me? No, I'm- I'm- word gets out about stasis, I'm right here. The Vanguard will be bleeding schmucks. Can't show a light bearer a new toy and then tell him not to play with it. I mean, true. You underestimate Zavala and Vikora. When they can see what we've seen, they will do what's right. Maybe, Moondust. Maybe. I doubt it. Dude, you've got some weird tunes playing from your, uh, from your boombox there. Anyway. What do you want to talk talk to me about? His presence on Europa is not happenstance. I mean, temptation set the wheels in motion, but obsession propelled her here. Sure. To destroy the light with an army of darkness. I figured it was just because the dark reached out and was like, "Hey, come here," and she was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> the darkness places a spotlight on our desires, as it once did me and those I cared about. I mean, Time yeah, life. isn't that what it's doing right now? Humanity relies on our selfless acts. To bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so. With splinters uh, of darkness still in hand, Aramis remains an immediate danger to humanity. Look within. Focus your power. Let it grow. The ziggurat awaits. So if you're saying that like it's a bad idea for Aramis to be using the splinters, don't you think it's a bad idea for us to use the splinters? I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. The Exo Stranger is thrilled. Not only did you accept the power of stasis, you put it to use by taking down Phylax and retrieving her splinter of darkness. That is not at all what you said. Continue working with Varys to track down the next member of Aramis's Dark Council. Once you get a hold of their splinter, the Exo Stranger can use it to enhance your own, which will turn it to strengthen your proficiency with stasis. You know, I'm worried about how you how you know everything about the darkness. But don't get carried away. You don't tell me what to do. You have ways to go before you can face Aramis. Now that you've accepted stasis, you must learn to resist the temptations of the darkness and use it solely for the good of humanity. Oh, so the thing Aramis didn't do. Gotcha. With that, she hands you back your splinter, now infused with phylaxes, readying you for the next stage of stasis. Attune your enhanced splinter of darkness at the ziggurat and beyond. Probably said beyond light, but my uh, microphone is blocking it. Okay, so we gotta go back over here. You know, I wonder how my ghost is feeling about this. Because I remember in the last episode, we kind of sent him into an existential crisis about how we have the splinter of darkness. Guardian, this oh. feels wrong. You wielding darkness. But I'm not going anywhere. If you need me, I'm here. So you don't like it. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Salvation beckon. Commune with an... Uh, I didn't read that. The next crust in the Bray Exoscience. The Exoscience? Are we going to learn more about the Exos? This stasis. Oh, cool. It's not far away. More of a toll on you than you realize. Uh, I'm able to bring you back from death with the light. But I may not be able to if this power consumes you. Uh, I don't think it'll consume me, Ghost. <laughs> you forget that I'm the guardian of guardians, all right? I, I, I think I can handle it myself. Um, damn it, I had something I was going to say. No, nah, well, I'll, I'll have an epiphany about it later. I'm picking up another transmission from Aramis. Oh, good, another one. Jumaya, mix me sisters and brothers out amongst the stars and here at home on Europa. Did, did you just assume everyone's gender? Today. Our 
beloved warrior Phylax was murdered by pawns of the once great machine. You're welcome. As always, they eagerly seek to Ooh. eradicate us. This is pretty cool. Remember, light only burns bright. So a lot of dead exos in here. Darkness is forever. Uh d no. No, I hate to tell you. That ain't right. Yay, more stasis. Oh, now I'm frozen. I was just like, am I gonna be frozen forever? Alright, who am I gonna find? Oh, of course, more fallen. Yeet, yeet! So I noticed, as, uh, while I was running over here, um, the reason why I thought OBS was so laggy, or like, and why my videos were lagging, is because it's using up about 50% of my CPU. Which it normally never does. It normally only uses like maybe eight when we're, I'm recording. Uh, like anything else that's not Destiny. But I guess Destiny is really taking a toll on it. Huh. I wonder why that is. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to figure it out um, in the immediate future. And I mean, like, the footage is still usable. It just looks like I'm playing on console instead of playing on, uh, like, PC. Which kind of bugs me, but meh. As long as the videos get out, you know. Um, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I was wondering why like Destiny would be so laggy, and I remember seeing something that was like, if you record at 120 frames, you'll be all right. But that just, I tried it and it just made the footage look weird. So I'm just gonna stick with this. Um, but if you bugs, if it bugs you guys, you know, let me know, please, and then I'll try to fix it. Um, but I'm, at least I'm okay with this for now. I'm not okay with it for all my videos, but just for, you know, Destiny, what we're trying to do right now, uh, it's okay with me. As long as it can get recorded. Because I know, uh, um, it's a little weird. Destiny 2 and OBS do not get along very well. Um, for some reason. I think it was either Bungie did something, or it was OBS that did something. I don't remember. But... Yeah. So, found that out today. <laughs> okay, is that everyone? Did we do it? Oh, I have to go deeper in. I have to go deeper in the deep, dark foundry. Is this where the exos were made? Oh yeah, we're at Clovis Bray on Europa. So yeah, I think this is where all the exos were made. That makes sense to me. Oh, do I have to go back and attune to it again? I thought I'd keep going further into the belly of the beast. Or is that later? It might be later. Oh. Alright, so that's all I had to do then? That was pretty easy. Now I have to go talk to Varix. Fight for the light, and so are you. If this is how we're going to do it, I'll be by your side. But we are toying with power neither of us understand, and I have no control over it. If anything happens to you, I may not be able to help, but I'll do what I can. Ghost, I, I appreciate your concern, and honestly, it actually does kind of, uh, hurt me a little that we're, uh, uh, causing this much stress for him. More than we usually do, because we cause a lot of stress for the little bu the little guy, but, or little light, but, uh, what the hell's my hair doing? Good enough. Um, it actually kind of sucks that we're putting him through this, but that's a sign of a good friend, that he'll stay with you until something happens, and then he's like, I probably can't do anything about this. So bye. Um, it's the sign of a good friend. Hey, what's up? Can I kill you yet? I have seen what power has done to Aramis. I mean, yeah, it's kind of easy. Perhaps you are different. Perhaps there is hope. Can you please stop with the insect shitter? I don't know why you do that, and it's still weird. <laughs> Aramis's technology. He brings power from the darkness itself. Don't they all, though? Was Don't they all bring the darkness to, to themselves? Secrets, his experiments. You must discover how he creates these dark weapons and stop him. So now we, we killed their great warrior. Now we have to go kill their tech technocrat. That's a new word for me. Varix is surprised and impressed that you managed to defeat Phylax. I mean, dude, she was 
No, she was actually a little bit hard. Uh, that fight took a little bit. Now He now believes you may be capable of wielding stasis without being corrupted. He tells you that your next target is Praxis, the elixir who created the technology that allows House Salvation to wield darkness. Praxis. No wonder it sounded familiar. It's from Jack 2. Ah, I was like, why does Praxis sound so familiar? That's why. Defeat him and Aramis's plans will come to a halt. Oh, defeat, defeat him and Aramis. That's how words work. Varix believes he's been experimenting on the Vex, and if you disrupt his experiments, you might get his attention. Investigate Praxis, the Technocrat's plans, and Asterion Abyss. Why are you fucking around with the Vex? That's just bad news. It's just one thing I've learned in life from Destiny. It's bad news to fuck with the Vex. Don't do it. Just don't do it. I didn't even, I didn't even read my quest step. It just kind of like dove head first. Uh, oh. So yeah, kill Vex. They might drop it. Minotaurs are always going to drop it. So I need Minotaur kills. Hey, any Minotaurs want to come out? Any Anyone Anyone want to come out and, and play? Please? Please? <laughs> I want to see you just to put a bullet in you. You know how it is. Guardian a Guardian shows up and he immediately wants to kill you. You know how it be sometimes. You know, people don't think it be like it is. But it do. I forget who said that. I don't remember if it was Zavala or if it was uh, Cade or whoever. Maybe it was Osiris who said that. I don't remember. They're very wise words of wisdom. Believe it or not. Okay, I did it. Are you going to shut in Cade Miss Ridge, locate and shut down the Vex conflicts created by Praxis? God damn it, Praxis. Why are you having me drive all over the map? Just it's insubordinate. And churlish. How are you holding up? Well, I'm doing great. I can't imagine how it must feel for a guardian to wield darkness. Uh, it's not that bad. It, it just, you know, it feels like a uh, just your average day here. It does seem a little cold though. Petra Avengers Patreon. <laughs> nice. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, did I go the long way? Oh, I went the long way. But yeah, it doesn't feel that bad. It just feels a little chilly. Cause you know I get covered in ice. But other than that, you know, I feel just peachy. So is this his contraption? His jerry-rigged contraption with all these little scanty dudes? Can I shoot them? This yes, I can. Praxis built it himself. That's impressive. It's Vex really Conflux is... Cover me and I'll see what I can find out. Yeah, I was like, it, that's impressive that you built a Vex Conflux. Vex are drawn to the fallen Conflux. I mean, duh, it's a Conflux. If there's one thing I've learned about Destiny, the Vex love their Conflux, Confluxes, and they hate it when anyone else tries to step on them. They really do for some reason. I don't know why. If they didn't want us to stand on their plates, maybe they shouldn't build plates that are so standable. Or, like, that are just so comfortable to stand on. I yeeted that grenade too far. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, Vex. Probably not in the best uh, idea to do that, you know? Even if this one is made by uh, uh, the Fallen, probably not a good idea. And maybe I should go talk to Praxis. I just walk up to him and, you know, go, Praxis. Praxis, baby. Praxis, listen to me, all right? Uh, your conflicts over here, right? It's pretty impressive. You know, the fact that you built a conflux and that you're only a uh, Fallen and you're not a Vex that did it, so good, good job. Um, but, uh... You might not want to make it so easily stand on, or standable, or uh, easy to loiter. That's the phrase I was looking for. You might not want to do that next time. Next time you might just want to, like, you know, sit down, grab a biscuit, hang out, uh, and make it so no one can stand on it, or hack it, really. Uh, you think the Vex would have learned it by this point, being these infinite great machines, that they uh, they shouldn't do that, but no, they're kind of stupid. Meanwhile, he'll just go like, <laughs> and I'm like, I, I don't understand what you're saying, and neither does my ghost. So, like, you're going to have to speak English. And I know you can speak English, because Phylax did it, Aramis did it. I need you to speak English, please. I don't, I'm afraid I don't quite understand you. And he'll just go like, oh, my bad, man. Uh, hey, I'll t I hear your advice, and it's pretty good advice, but uh, no. I'm not going to do it. And I'll just be like, oh, okay. Guess uh, my advice just is... Uh, just not appreciated then. I'm trying to help you out, even though I'm, I'm trying to kill you. I'm just trying to help you out, but uh, here you are trying to kill me. Or uh, not heeding my advice, and you know? I take offense to that, sir. I take offense to that. 
Oh man, you know, sometimes I have to sit here and wonder, what the hell do I- am I ranting about? <laughs> Alright, that's two things destroyed. Two of those little diamond- those things hanging there. Um, Phylax, are you gonna- not Phylax. Praxis, are you gonna- are you gonna come out now? Are you- are you finally gonna show up? Am I still gonna have- to, no, it looks like we're still gonna have to kill your Vex. I mean, it, it'll be pretty easy. These guys seem very easy to take down. Especially when you have a sniper and pretty much one-shotting everything. <laughs> you know, just just to, th just to say a uh, observation. But seriously, is Praxis gonna come out? I have a, I have an old friend I want to introduce you to. His name is Jack, um, and his friend Daxter. You might have heard about them. They were uh, they visited your city, um, and I don't remember the city name unfortunately. It's been a long time since I've played Jack and Daxter too. Um, but uh, I've heard they they went there and they didn't like it. Um, also, I know you and, like, from what I gather, uh, you and Jack used to be pretty good friends. Um, you taught him how to speak. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I figured you two want, would want to, you know, would want to sit down, maybe grab a biscuit, grab some coffee. Coffee and biscuits probably don't go together. Tea and biscuits, I think, go together. So maybe some tea instead. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. And, uh, catch up on, for old time's sake. Now, I know there might have been a feud between you guys, um, but I think it's easily overlooked considering that he taught, you know, you taught Jack how to speak English. So, uh, well, how to speak in general. He used to, like, not talk at all. So, um, yeah. I think, I think it'd be a great time. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a wyvern. That's right, it's the new Vex. Thank you, Skipper Taxes. I can appreciate you helping me out. Even though I got this, fam. I got this. I'm the <laughs> the guardian of guardians. All right, I think I can handle my handle myself. But I appreciate your help nonetheless. You know, I'm never mad about never mad about a stranger running up and trying to help me, unless of course I'm trying to do it on my own. In which case, I was trying to do this on my own. But you know what? It's okay. A prime servitor arrives to protect the cod flux. Well, guess what? Oh. Ow. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Looks like Praxis found out we're trying to shut down his conflux. I mean, he sent a servitor to protect it. Not like we uh, destroyed a thousand tons of Vex on top of the fact that, uh. Oh no! Oh, we didn't die. Cool. Not like we were just sitting here, you know, destroying his Vex for a while and, uh. destroying all these little, like, triangle things hanging around. You know, to really give away our position that we were doing this, you know? You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, Ghost. I, I, I don't think we were being that uh, quiet about it. Dude, is Skipper Taxis just help? Ow! Is Skipper Taxis just helping me out this whole time? Dude, what a G. Well, Praxis, I hate to tell you, your servitor's kind of D-E-D -D dead. So good try, though. Good try. But, uh, didn't work out too well. Now your conflicts is destroyed. How do you feel about that? Oh. Got a signal off of that down <laughs> where we can find Praxis. All right, I guess we're going to go kill the technocrat. Which is again is a new word for me. Hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, Praxis, where are you at? Miss met Praxis in prison. Uh-huh. Yes. The prison that you uh escaped him, let him escape from? Uh-huh. Nah. Praxis and Aramis will no longer be able to empower her followers with darkness. Wow, so we're already going after, like, right at the throat. You don't... Praxis, you sound different. Or do you have a... Perhaps I can make use of you. Praxis, do you have a cold? Praxis. Let us run a test. Praxis. Defense protocol near Praxis. Do you have a cold? Cause you you sound like your throat is very uh scratched and uh um a little uh little little sore. Are you are you all right? Dude, I am loving this machine gun though. Holy crap. A little too bouncy for my tastes, but you know what? We're on PC, so we can get away with it. 
Um, Praxis, you sound a little different. Do I need to go get you a lozenge? Do you want me to, hey, do you want me to send like Jack and or Daxter to go get you a lozenge? I promise they're not gonna shoot up the rest of the town and all your guards while they're at it. Um, I mean, they might, I don't know. I, I, I mean, they might, honestly, like, they, they, they've been talking to me a little bit more and uh, I've come to realize that maybe it's a bad idea for you guys to meet. Um, just, just, just from, you know, just picking up on it. Nah, let Aramis know about this. Nah, you should let Aramis totally know about this. It's fine. It's not like she'll kill you or anything if she finds out. Uh, but yeah, let, let her know. Um, maybe I'll introduce- maybe I'll introduce her to Jack and Daxter. Maybe they'll get along better. What's- I- I, I fail to see what's funny. I'm just destroying all your minds. Which, I mean, I gotta appreciate the very even pattern you set out for me. That was very, you know, very pleasing. Um, but unfortunately, you know, it didn't last. But yeah, do you want me to go, like, you sound a little hoarse. Do you want me to go get you a lozenge? You want me to send Jack or Daxter to do it while I, uh, help you make tea so you guys can chit-chat? Um, maybe supply Jack with a couple guns so that he can kill you? Um, or I might just kill you for him. If he's, he, Jack might be a bit too busy trying to find those lozenges, you know? Um, but yeah, do, do you want me to do that? Yes, no, maybe? Probably not. You keep sending your guys out to, to greet me to probably kill me, so uh, I'm assuming you, you're you out for my blood. Um, which is a shame. But maybe you can go... Uh, maybe uh, you can come out here, meet me yourself, you know, we can talk. Um, and then I can kill you, take your head, and send it off to Aramis and put it in a little box with her name on it. I think she'd appreciate that. You guys think she'd appreciate that? I think she'd appreciate that. I do like this place. This... Uh, Brave facility. This is very, very cool. I mean, ow. That kind of hurt. Yeah, this is really cool. I mean, granted, I'm not getting a, a too good of a look at it as I'm running around because I'm just trying to, you know, go find uh, Praxis and give him his lozenge, uh, which is going to be in the shape of a fiery bullet or probably an ice pick if, uh, if it's going to turn out like the last one quite did. There's a lot of dead exos around here, too. I noticed that. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was just focusing on all the dead exos around here. What were you saying? I don't... Oh, Way to rub it in, Varix. Fucking asshole. I mean, again, I'm not an Exo, so this doesn't bother me as much. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Like, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about the Exo, other than what this random guardian named Bife has been telling me. Um, I say random guardian, but he's he's not. He's just a he's a YouTuber. Um, I mean, this is pretty cool though to see all this like firsthand. Because I haven't, I actually haven't been, uh, too, um, I haven't actually seen a whole lot of spoilers for Destiny. I mean, for Beyond Light. I mean, I have, I've seen a couple, but, like, I don't know what it in, they entailed just yet, so, like, there's that. But, uh, um, yeah, this is actually really cool to see all this, because I didn't, I haven't seen any images of this place. So I have no idea what lies in, in, wait. It's either going to be good or it's going to be absolutely terrible, and I'm not really sure which one it's going to be. You know, other than that, Varix, uh, no, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Alright, Praxis, are you in here? Oh, hello. Oh, you're the dude with the flamethrower on your back. I mean, I'm the only one I think they sent to hunt you. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's came here to hunt for you. So, uh, your plan's a little, uh, your observation's a little, uh, uh, flawed. Can I, I want my, god damn it, no, I wanted my, of course, now I get my machine gun and he's run away. Fine, I'll just mow down all these guys instead. Ooh, this is cool. I like these little, like, server, uh, rooms, but yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that was sent here to hunt you, and I had a feeling that I would be chasing you throughout all this, because I, as in the previous room, I looked out and saw this, was like, oh yeah, this is definitely a boss room. 
And it turns out we're gonna go hunt him down across over here, which makes sense. But uh, it seems like this guy's gonna actually be pretty easy, knock on wood, to beat. I hope. Yay, more of these rooms. These, oh my god, these are so cool. I'm really digging these rooms. I forget what they're called. Data rooms, maybe? Praxis! Aw, oh, damn it. You're not Praxis. Where's Praxis? I want to I wanna give him his lozenge in the form of a fiery bullet. I heard it goes through the... Uh, processes through the system much faster that way. So, uh, Praxis. Oh, now this feels very boss-like. You know, just, just gathering from the hanging fallen ball sacks all up and in here. Uh, oh, now our objective marker has changed to defeat Praxis. All right, that was pretty cool. <laughs> hey, hey, there's your bullet. There's your lozenge. Damn it. I didn't realize the shields were up. Otherwise, I would have... Uh... I also wasn't paying attention to what you said. I was more just focusing on the fact that I was frozen um, and that suddenly your... That you took your lozenge pretty well, but your voice is still... a little scraggly. Um, this is death. I must run away. I must run. This is very bad. Jack! Jack! Daxter! Help, plus! Oh, no. Help, plus! Yeah, fuck your shield generator. You're not- I'm the only one that's allowed to have a shield, and even then, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Just kind of there, you know? You're summon a- You're not allowed to have two. That's cheating. Ow! I'm about to be... Oh, I was like, I'm about to be frozen again, aren't I? Whew, okay, this fight's a little bit rougher than I thought. Am I actually gonna have to focus? Probably. Man, I'm getting I'm getting a lot of... Uh, as I'm just sitting here running around, I'm getting a lot of... Um, um, forsaken vibes with these, you know? Running around doing these hunts. Hunting down the various... Uh, um... Well, I guess these aren't barons. These are, like, just generals in Phylax's... Or, not Phylax, in Aramis's army. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of Forsaken vibes. This one's just more cold. Because, you know, we're on Europa, and we're not in, like, space desert. We're in space Arctic. <laughs> There's a difference, you know. But yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging the expansion so far. Still haven't felt, like, a, a major need to go, like... What are you laughing at? I still haven't felt, like, a huge need to sit down and, like, play through it all in one sitting. Like I said, I originally said I was going to. Um, but yeah, I am, at, I am still having fun with this. And this is very much reminding me of that time. Oh, I only have to press it once? I thought I had to press it multiple times. Oh, that makes sense. Mmm, Praxis, you might be cool, and you might be friends with Jack and Daxter, or enemies, I don't know at this point. Um, they kind of told me it was a little bit of a gray area. Um, Jack at one point said he wanted to kill you. I think those were his first words, too, actually. Um, so there is that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I draw the line at letting you see my ghost. Uh, that's kind of uh, a no-go. You know, I, ha I have, you know, I don't mind if you kill me a couple times, you know, you sit there, you constantly just make fun of me or whatever, do what you gotta do. Oh. Oh, I have my own ice powers now. Yo, fuck you. Yo, fuck you. I missed. Can you imagine missing with your, uh, with your sickle? I can. Because I just did it. Yeet. Yeet. It's actually going a lot easier now. Oh, you're dead. Well, that was fast. Praxis is down. I figured it'd be more. Good. I figured it'd be a harder fight. I mean, probably. Perfect time for us to strike. Uh, I wouldn't. Get back to camp with this splinter. The stranger will be waiting. Yeah, 
But we probably shouldn't go immediately fight uh, Aramis. I think we're still a little too weak. We still haven't gotten our complete spoopy dark powers. Ghost, I'm just saying. Probably not the best idea right off the bat. Oh, cutscene. Been a while. Oh, look, your two remaining generals. Oh, they're going to die soon. I like the guy on the left, but they're going to die soon. Praxis and Phylax are dead. Yeah, I know. I killed them. We must retaliate. Uh, you can try. Atrax. Yeah, Atrax. Chris and I can handle this. Aww. Return to the crypt and prepare the body. What? What's this body you speak of? Aramis, we must take pause. These powers are not what we expected. I mean, duh. I too am impatient, but there is wisdom in caution. True. I'm more concerned about this body. What are you talking about, this body? Caution. It's like, are you gonna kill her? Caution has earned us. Nah. Our enemy exploits our weakness. I mean, yeah, that's what now I do. We must act. <laughs> the guardian of guardians, I, I do it all the time. These guardians, the destruction they crave. We crave your, de we don't just crave destruction in general. If I want to play Destruction, I will just go play Mech Assault instead. In fact, I've thought about it recently. <laughs> not going to, but I've thought about it. Um, not the kind of Destruction... I mean, we'll kill you, of course, and we'll take whatever Destruction you you know, you know want to give our way, but we're not just going to seek Reckless Destruction. That's why we have Mech Assault. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to leave this ep episode of Beyond Light here, so I guess next time we'll figure out... Uh, what the hell this body is. So I'm very curious to see what this is. Um, figure out more of Aramis's plot and uh, continue killing her friends until she's all alone and then we'll kill her and become, you know, the dark spoopy boys that, that we always wanted to be. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.